All right, guys, today we're going to change the hydraulic oil filter on the International 986. Uh, this also applies to the 66 series, so let's get into it here. All right, so we've got our filter kit here. Uh, you'll notice, uh, depending on which filter uh, kit you get, now this is a Baldwin, of course, uh, they give you a gasket here for that housing. Uh, that you're not gonna need unless yours is leaking. And along with the filter, they're gonna give you three different O-rings and you only need one uh, for this application. So uh, let's uh, get started on this project here. All right, so on the right side of your tractor, on the uh, rear housing, you're gonna see this, uh, this right here. You see there's a cap there and then this, uh, uh, Basically, that's the shape of uh, your filter housing. Your filter is in that cap. Um, some of them have uh, wing nuts on. Uh, this one doesn't. The wing nuts, usually what happens is they tend to break. And what happens is uh, guys put bolts in uh, to hold it. So um, looks like we're going to need a half inch wrench and a bucket and a uh, pry bar. So let's get up, set up here to do this. All right, we're underneath the tractor here. Uh, like I say, the uh, wing nuts here that uh, came from the factory, you could just spin them out. Most times, uh, a lot of guys would break them off. Um, so that's why the bolts, uh, that's obviously what happened on this one. It's not a big deal. It's not major. Uh, the bolts will work just as good, if not better than the wing nuts. This is still a better, uh, better design. So you don't need to, that one's getting a little rounded off. Yeah, switch hands. I'm not left-handed. You don't need to take these bolts completely off. Uh, all you have to do is loosen them and uh, basically rotate your housing here. And yeah, that's rounded over. So let me come back with you. All right, because of the washers on the heads of these bolts, I had to take them all out or it wasn't gonna come off. Um, but usually you just have to loosen them and rotate it. Just give it a good turn and then get yourself a pry bar in behind here. And can do this uh, you do need a bucket because there is going to be some oil that comes out of here but not that much oil that uh, you won't be able to uh, catch it in a five gallon bucket so let me boy this is hard doing one-handed there we go so that's about the amount of oil you're going to get out not a whole lot but it's still worth putting a bucket under So you can see it's just a looks like an aluminum housing here and then you'll have yourself just like the video I did on the 685 you'll have yourself a screen here and you get a little bit more oil out so there's your screen uh, this screen probably would fit in a 685 um, one nice thing about a lot of these international tractors is the parts can cross from one model to the next like I say if you have a 706 all the way up to a 1586 uh, this is going to be your uh, filter housing and assembly so looks pretty good it looks clean um, i don't have to do a whole lot as far as cleaning the screen uh, probably wouldn't have to do this uh, <laughs> in general but let's take a look at this filter pull our filter out without making a mess And just on the surface, I don't really see anything. Seems okay, um, but we're gonna change it anyway. So, there's the housing in there. Uh, let me turn my light on the camera here and we'll take a look. All right, so let's take a look here with the light. So you get a sense of what it looks like in there. Um, you don't really have to take this outer uh, assembly off unless it's leaking. This outer uh, cap here, they do give you a gasket for it, which is nice. We're gonna put it with our uh, gasket collection in case we ever have any leaks. I do have some leaks on this tractor. I don't wanna say it's 100% yet. This brake uh, sensor here uh, does leak. Every time you step on the brakes, it's running down here. So we'll have to look into that. Um, but as far as right now, it's that little of a leak. I'm not going to worry about it. Most of these tractors are going to leak. So, all right, uh, let's get the uh, new filter. This is the O-ring I was telling you about. There's an O-ring that goes out around the outside, and that's what seals this. So let me get my O-ring pick and get the O-rings and the new filter here, and we, we will uh, uh, put the new filter in. 
All right, so we're back here. We got an O-ring pick. Uh, basically, just take the old O-ring out of the housing. It's not very difficult to do. And set that aside. One thing you'll want to do, make sure you do is clean out that O-ring groove. If there's any dirt in there, uh, get it nice and clean uh, for the O-ring to go in. Um, now, like I said, they're going to give you three different ones in this Baldwin uh filter kit uh, basically uh, just find the right one there's a square one you're not going to use and then there's two round ones one is longer than the other so you just got to find the right diameter and get it on so let me do that now all right so we got the right o-ring here um, see if I can do this one-handed here basically just put it in the groove all the way around uh, till it goes in uh, now the next step is you're going to want to get yourself a grease gun and uh, you want to put grease all on the outside of this o-ring you want it nice and uh, greased up so that way when you put your cap on it doesn't pinch or uh, or roll it over or anything like that just put some grease around and uh, that should uh, help when you go to put it back together all right so we got it all greased up now now we can uh, reinstall our filter here and again there is no real uh, front or back to these it's just a cartridge it'll work either way you put it in the tractor so let's uh, put our new filter in and there's kind of like a groove in there you can feel when it's in it's got to be pretty well flush uh, with the uh, the housing and you can't almost mess it up uh, then we want to reinstall our screen here that we had cleaned up so let's get that just pushes right into the new hydraulic filter and uh, basically snaps into place then you can reinstall your cap now I'm gonna uh, have to shut the camera off to get this cap back on I will need two hands to get it in over that o-ring uh, if you want to you can also put some grease in this cap but it's uh, basically just a case of uh, putting it on so we'll get this on here all right and with that uh, grease on there that makes it real easy real simple you can see I have the bolts back in the uh, back in the housing here uh, with the washers that they have on here like I say, not factory, but it will work fine. You can see it's kind of spring-loaded, too. Um, that uh, uh, screen on the end has that little tab on that makes it spring-loaded um, to help hold it into place. So once you have it started and have it pretty well there, it's just a case of evenly uh, tightening down your bolts. And this one, I wanted to replace this one. It's a little bit rounded over, but I don't have one that size right now. So we will probably deal with it at another time. So just tighten them down till they click. <laughs> you can pretty well feel when it's tight enough. You don't have to guess or torque them or anything like that. And if you do it that way and have it pretty well evenly, uh, tighten it down pretty evenly and uh, it's against, wipe it down. So that way when we start it up, we know right away if we have any leaks. So that's pretty well all there is to uh, changing your hydraulic filter on a uh, 66, an 06 or a 86 series tractor. So uh, let's uh, clean up all the tools here and uh, fire it up and see if we have any leaks. All right, so we get the throttle up a little bit. We're in park and we'll fire it up here. And there is no bleeding in this uh, uh, hydraulic system. You don't have to do any bleeding. You'll see the dump lights on right now. Uh, it's just uh, getting that oil into that filter housing. Should go out fairly soon here. So let's make sure we don't have any leaks. All right, we got nothing dripping there. Get all the air out. Yeah, you see the dump light is out, so we got oil. Basically pushed all the air out, and we got steering. So 
so I'll let it run a little bit and then uh, recheck our uh, uh, hydraulic fluid level at the back. So let me let it run a little bit. All right, so we've left it run for a little while here. Um, it does take some fluid. I have the uh, cap off here. This is where you fill it. It's on the rear of the tractor. There's a cap here in the center. Pull that off. Get a funnel in there and add accordingly and your dipstick is right here now on this dipstick the uh, little ring is broke off to be able to grab a hold of it but didn't get around to finding one yet but uh we've got uh, <laughs> we've got that one it still works it's still going to measure the oil level so let me add some oil and uh, this project should be complete so if anybody had any questions as far as how to uh, change your hydraulic filter uh, follow that step by step you shouldn't have any issue so all right, guys, uh, this tractor is ready for spring, I'd say, right now. So it's uh, totally serviced. Everything is where it needs to be and uh, should be ready to bale hay. And probably it's going to be doing some tillage. Uh, not that I'm a tillage farmer, but with this waterway project going in up on the hill, I have a feeling that with the... Um, machines running around up there i'm going to have some damage to the field so i'm going to have to go up and uh, do some straightening out uh, probably i'm kind of thinking maybe not maybe it won't be an issue but uh, we may be doing a little bit of tillage with this tractor to uh, get rid of some ruts and some uh, compaction so all right guys thanks for watching i appreciate it stay tuned for tomorrow